Targeted by vandals is turning its broken windows into something beautiful. The owner called one of his featured artists in the gallery to paint a mural, transforming it into a work of art for the public to enjoy. Coin Six's Jennifer Dowling is live outside that gallery tonight with more on the creative solution to an ugly problem. Jen? It is Emily. The artist painted right over this massive piece of particle board that's covering the broken window. He's portraying the fire at Notre Dame, and the artist tells us this is a commentary on what's happening in society as a whole and right here on the streets of Portland. It's like trying to make something beautiful out of all this destruction that's going on. That's really what we're trying to do. Artist Alex Lilly is painting over the scars left by vandals after they smashed the window at Michael Parsons Fine Art Gallery on Southwest Madison three weeks ago. And that's a commentary on the antiquities being burned down and the antiquities being lost. This gallery shows both new and old paintings that can date back as far as the 1800s or early 1900s. He sees the parallel between the fire at Notre Dame and what's happening in Portland and the world. The antiquities and the paintings are what's getting smashed and destroyed in this, in if you want to call it a social power shift, whatever you want to call what's happening right now. That is the, that is to me is what's, what's heartbreaking about what's going on. And the impact was so hard, there was even glass down here in the lower gallery. Gallery owner Michael Parsons says when he first saw the windows and the damage, it was a bit disheartening. Really extremely frustrating because we're trying to bring beauty to people and make a difference in the world through beauty and somebody then does something really ugly and it's it's really hurtful. Parson says windows at other businesses in the area like Higgins restaurant were also smashed that night. He wrote this letter to Mayor Ted Wheeler but did not receive a response. So this random vandal went around the neighborhood and really um, inflicted some damage on people. He said it's the second time that his windows were broken. Vandals also smashed them during the May Day protest back in 2017. But this time, after he cleaned up the glass and had some time to think, he was inspired. To try to put some positive energy back or put something positive into a dark negative space. Sunday, Alex will finish the work from 3 to noon. Parsons hopes members of the public stop by and are moved by the transformation. I mean, what we're trying to do is, is, is spread beauty and bring beauty into people's lives. For me, talking about art is just as important as the art itself, and people have really identified with it. So you can see Alex Lilly again finishing this piece tomorrow uh, from noon to 3 o'clock. The gallery will be open as well. He has uh, pieces of artwork in the gallery in addition to this beautiful mural uh, that he's painting. And Parsons told me he is also worried about a protest coming up on the 17th. So you might want to see this when you can. He's worried that uh, something could be damaged on the mural following that protest. Back to you.